The Earl and Countess of Wessex's daughter Lady Louise Windsor looked devastated as she left Balmoral to attend a church service for the Queen. Her Majesty's death was announced on Thursday evening at 6.30 p.m. to a stunned nation. Royal family members have been gathering at the Queen's Scottish estate to pay their final respects. Lady Louise Windsor was photographed looking somber as she and other royals left to attend a prayer service at nearby Crathy Kirk. The Queen was a regular at the small church during her stays in Balmoral. On Saturday, 18-year-old Louise, who has previously been regarded as Her Majesty's favorite grandchild, was among the royals who paid respect to the monarch. After attending a prayer service at Crathy Kirk, three of the Queen's four children, the Princess Royal, the Duke of York, and the Earl of Wessex, joined the Countess of Wessex and Anne's husband Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence for a walkabout. The young royal, who was dressed elegantly in a black gown, spent about ten minutes with her family reading the condolences and appreciating the flowers before returning inside Balmoral Castle. As senior members of the royal family waved to the mourners at the Aberdeenshire estate, the audience erupted in cheers. Lady Louise's father, the Earl of Wessex, thanked well-wishers lined the way back to Balmoral Castle, escorted by his wife, who was holding hands with their daughter. The Queen's grandchildren Peter Phillips and Zara Tyndall, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, and Lady Louise Windsor were also there. Lady Louise has become more visible in the last two years, as her parents, Prince Edward and the Countess of Wessex, have risen through the royal ranks following the disgrace of Prince Andrew and the departure of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. She participated in the Platinum Jubilee festivities, went to the Commonwealth Games with her parents, and had her successful TV debut in a documentary about the Duke of Edinburgh, her adored grandfather. Indeed she has become such a well-known face that she is recognized by customers of the Garden Centre where she has been working for £6.63 per hour since finishing her A-levels in June. Now that she knows she has the marks to study English at the University of Ste. Andrews, where her cousin Prince William famously met his future wife, Lady Louise is gearing up for the next chapter of her life as a student. Louise, unlike her older cousins William and Harry, was born around the time the Queen and Prince Philip cut back on long-haul travel, allowing her to spend more time with them as a child. She has always resided about 11 miles from Windsor. Lady Louise attended Ste. George's school at Windsor Castle until she was in ninth grade, when she transferred to St. Mary's School in Ascot due to her inwardly turned eyes from congenital esotropia. This problem was surgically cured in 2013. She was mostly shielded from public view until she was a bridesmaid at the 2011 wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Many royal watchers noted her similarity to the Queen at the same age. However, it was her grandpa, the Duke of Edinburgh, who helped her discover her love of carriage driving. Philip had more time to enjoy carriage driving after he retired, which had been one of his favorite pastimes since the 1970s. Prior to representing Great Britain at multiple world and European championships, he raced carriages close to Norfolk. Prince Philip was so thrilled, according to Sophie Wessex, when his granddaughter expressed an interest in the sport. My father-in-law was always so good at encouraging, he was really encouraging of Louise. So when she not only said, please can I have a go, but then when she showed a flair for it, he was just brilliant with her, she said. They used to chat away about it and he would always turn up if she was competing in the great park, he would always turn up to watch her and watch her training days.